In this video, we are going to discuss the new MetaMask privacy mode, which came into effect as a opt roll-in uh, since November 5, and uh, it will be mandatory pretty soon. And I'm going to show you in this video what is the effect uh, using the old method and how you need to update your code using the new method. So I have prepared uh, here two folders, uh, one called old method and one called new method. And in both, I have a simple web free 026 installed uh, using NPM. And I have two index HTML files here uh, in the old method, old method, and in the new method, the new method, which I'm going to discuss in a second. I have in both folders, I have uh, via NPM, I've installed an HTTP server, which does nothing else than serving on uh, port 8080. Let me see here on port 8080, we have the old method uh, being served. Uh, it's actually here, uh, old method being served on port 8080. And the new method is being served on port 8081. Okay, so what, what is here? Uh, basically two websites. Uh, localhost 8080, localhost 8081, one with the old method, one with the new method. Now let me show you what is the effect using MetaMask with the old method, uh, how we connect to MetaMask with uh, Web3, having this privacy mode enabled. Where can you find this privacy mode? Currently it's uh, opt-in, so when you go to MetaMask, to the settings, you scroll down a little bit, and here's the privacy mode. How does the code look like? Really straightforward. Uh, old method means if there is web free not undefined, then use a web free current provider. And what I did here in addition is just I have in my HTML page, I have this uh, span element, which has an ID web free connect. And if I have, uh, if I connect to web free here, then it says uh, web free is connected with MetaMask. And if I can't, if web free is undefined, then it says uh, Web3 is directly connected to localhost 8545 if it can connect to, to there. So if I have like a Ganache running or something. All right. So to my big surprise, uh, my privacy mode is enabled. I'm here on uh, port 8080, old method. I reload the page. And guess what? It says Web3 is connected with MetaMask. So I was very surprised that there is still a web free object being injected into the website. Uh, but it doesn't surprise me that you can't really do anything with that. So if I do something like web free.eth.accounts, then that's empty. And that's the whole point of uh, the new privacy mode, right? Uh, you shouldn't be able to retrieve an account list. Uh, so you it, it would be impossible for someone to trace your actions uh, throughout the web. And uh, that is the whole idea of the privacy mode. You need uh, you need a user interaction to get actually access to web free and to the accounts and to all this information which is stored here uh, in MetaMask, uh, which is can be used to identify you as you. Okay, enough talking about the old method. Now I'm going to show you what happens with the new method. Let me show you how this uh, works. I just reload the page. And here is a MetaMask notification that tells me that document want to connect with my account, which I have selected here in uh, MetaMask. So I have the first account here selected. So it tells me in this pop up uh, that this document, uh, the title of this HTML page is document would like to connect to your account. And then I can either say cancel or I can say connect. Now, let me try to cancel this. And then I have this uh, little span here. It says Web3 is disconnected, user denied access. And before I'm going to show you how I do this, and let me try to reload the page. And this time I hit connect. And then I have Web3 is connected with MetaMask the new way. And now I can uh, access my accounts. Or in this case, it's always just one account with MetaMask. But I can access this account very normally and I can interact with Web3 exactly the way as it was done before. So it's just the way how you initialize this. Now, here's the trick. I'm going to go to the new method now. And uh, the code is actually from this URL. Uh, seems to be uh, very standard and straightforward. So 
what we have to do is uh, we have to start um, a concurrent uh, interaction with the user. So first we get we try to get access uh, and wait for the user to either hit uh, confirm or cancel. And once the user hits confirm, then we are connected. And if he hits cancel, then we are not connected. The user denied access to this uh, to get his account information. And once he actually connected, then we can just interact with WebFree in the normal way. So how is this done here? Uh, we have this window Ethereum, which is a new object injected. And then uh, we can use this as the provider. And this has one function which uh, returns a promise, uh, which is called enable. And this enable function will open this pop-up from MetaMask or maybe Mist or any other uh, uh, blockchain uh, plugin or, or client you have uh, and lets you tell specifically, yes, I want to interact with this website, give this website the permission to access my account. And then you can do something like the web free ETH send transaction. And then it would again trigger a pop up to confirm the transaction. But more importantly, from here on, you can uh, work with web free the normal way as you were already doing it before. Now for a legacy version, we have this uh, window web free object. So if window Ethereum is not there, then we, we still can check if window web free is there, then we are connected with MetaMask the old way. And then if none of, none of this happens, then we can still connect with uh, uh, somewhere an HTTP provider that's running on localhost or in any other host served anywhere. Okay, the last test that I want to do, uh, which uh, you might asking yourself, what happens if I use this new method, but I disable the privacy mode? That's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going into my MetaMask. I'm going into the settings. I disable the privacy mode. So I uh, specifically say, let me just use web free the normal way. And then I use the new method. Uh, I have to log out. I'm sorry. Let me log out here first and then uh, re log in. Okay. Let me re log in. So here we go. Uh, it's going to ask me again, do you want to connect with this? Uh, do you want to connect this, this uh, document with your account? And the reason is even with privacy mode disabled, we will still expose this Ethereum object in the document. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the description below, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next videos.